Hi, my name is Srinivas Kondepuri and I am Principal Engineer from VxRail Global Support Team. In this video, I'll walk you through the instructions on how to generate a VxRail Support Log Bundle either through vSphere Web Client or through VxRail Manager SSH. Support Log Bundles are necessary when an issue occurs with your VxRail appliance. These are the important log files which we can gather from VxRail Manager. As you can see here, we have VxRail log bundle, which contains VxRail mistake and log mob logs. We have ESXA log bundle, which is nothing but a standard ESXA log bundle for ESXA host troubleshooting. And we also have vCenter log bundle, which is, is a standard vCenter support log bundle for vCenter server. And iDrag provides the node ESL logs, which are used to understand the hardware health status. Platform service is the hardware abstract layer for the nodes. It provides REST API for VxRail manager to collect hardware inventory and firmware information and even upgrades the firmware. Now coming to the steps, we can collect these logs either from vCenter web client GUI or from VxRail manager command line interface. First, let's see from the vCenter web client. For this, first need to log into the vCenter using administrator account. Once you're in, select the target VxRail cluster. This is my target VxRail cluster here. Let's go to the configure tab. Under the VxRail tab in the middle pane, select troubleshooting option. In the right pane top side, click on create option. There you need to select which log files you need. So in my case, I will select VxRail manager for instance. But if if you need ESXA log or iDRAC or platform, as it as you can see, there is a star mark here, which represent you need to select which specific host log you need for this. So I will select Vixrel Manager log for now. And finally, once this gets generated you need to click on download and the second method is to generate these logs is via virtual manager command line interface for this ssh into the virtual manager view and log into the root there you can simply run mystic generate Output file will be stored in temp mystic uh, DC. 